It's another drunken heathen challenge and another lol cow ready for a milking. So let's whack on some gloves and give it a squeeze. What the piss is going on here? We've got a fucking master bender fucking around with balls while fucking Enya sings in the background. I bet someone put a lot of effort into this too, dickheads. That might just be one of the strangest intros I've ever seen, and I've seen some shit, man. The internet is a dark place. Whoa, whoa, what? This is getting weirder. Hello there. Hey. By the time you're an adult, your ego has a well-defined and solid core. Oh, well, speak for yourself, missus. I'll have you know some of us have deep-seated psychological problems. The beliefs that you've lived your life according to are so deep it feels like they live inside the marrow of your bones. This includes not only positive beliefs, but negative beliefs. I really don't like the way she just referred to my bone marrow just then. This video is coming from a very strange place, I can tell. Beliefs like, I'm unlovable, or no one's ever gonna like me because I'm ugly, or I can't trust my partner, or the world is against me. Well, I never used to think that, but I am now. Thanks for that, Teal. This was meant to be something to do with orgasms, but instead I get reminded I'm gonna die alone. Great! If you want to learn more about these deepest and most ingrained beliefs, watch my video on YouTube titled How to Change a Core Belief. No! No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't think I could take the battering, to be quite honest. Your beliefs are so solid. It feels like when something contradicts those beliefs, or when you try to do affirmations that contradict those beliefs, it's a bit like somebody shooting an arrow straight into a solid steel wall. They just bounce right off. I don't know if an analogy referring to medieval weaponry is a normal thing for you, Teal, but I am getting some weird vibes here. Like a trebuchet besieging a, I don't know, a wizard's tower. They can't really get in past that core of your ego that's convinced that the truth is quite the opposite. So what was the point in explaining that if you're not going to break through the steel wall that is the core of my ego and change my mind? Boom! Hoisted by your own petard to carry on with the medieval theme. Glop. But what if I told you that there's a way to get in through the back door? Haha! <laughs> Finally! Some smut! Look at that face! She knows what she said, filthy bitch. On an energetic level, during orgasm, the flow of energy is sped up within the body. Is that what an orgasm looks like? I've never seen one. The body opens up to a state of receptivity. Oh, we are getting weird again. What the fuck is this? Can you imagine visiting your grandparents and they have this picture hung up above the fireplace? Fucking terrible! You know your grandma can't do that with her legs anymore. Whereby the meridians and chakras of the body are receiving an unrestricted flow of energy. Yep, there we go. That's all the chakras of the body there. Very important things are chakras. Uh, as you can see by this diagram, arms and legs, completely useless. Might as well get rid of them. No energy at all. Fuck them. Alignment is occurring between the vibration of your physical perspective and your non-physical perspective. Bloody hell, look at her! She's having a whale of a time! I didn't even listen to what the bitch said, I was just looking at the picture! Damn, girl! No tits, though. And thus, you experience a blending between the physical aspect of you and the non-physical aspect of you. Okay, I actually listened to that one. Don't we experience that blending all the time? Like, by thinking? You know, consciousness and all that? If anything, you don't really think when you're having sex unless, you know, you need to buy yourself some time. During orgasm, your awareness of your identity or ego vanishes for a while. And is quickly replaced by shame and remorse. This is why... Orgasm or sex, tantric practices, for example, have been a modality that people have used to reach enlightenment for thousands of years. Ha ha ha, yeah, I bet they have. Hey, Timmy, what are you doing in that locked room? Uh, uh, uh nothing, Mum. I'm just, um, meditating. Don't come in. What does this mean for you? It means you can take advantage of this wide open door. Ha ha! You can take that opportunity to contradict the beliefs that your ego is so entirely convinced of.
You hear that then, gents? Just as you're about to blow your load all over some poor girl's tits, ask yourself, is there really a god? So I want you to think about these beliefs that the ego has latched onto and become attached to. Thoughts like, I'm not beautiful, I'm ugly. Well, thinking that is a sure way to stop yourself from finishing too early, so yeah, valid technique, I suppose. Imagine that that's like armor, a steel wall, and in the moment of orgasm, that armor doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, moment of orgasm, yeah, but did you just say armor? She's gone full medieval. It's a perfect opening, so if you shoot an arrow... Oh, come on, this is getting stupid now. ...of contradiction to that belief, like, you are beautiful, it doesn't bounce off the armor because it isn't there. It gets in. I am genuinely surprised she didn't say penetrates just then. Genuinely surprised. Seems like a missed opportunity. Let's say one partner's on top and one is on bottom. Yeah, yeah, standard, yeah. Unless you do that one where you lie on your side. It's, it's like spooning, but it's also fucking, spucking, or fooning. The one who's on bottom is about to orgasm. The person on bottom who's about to orgasm has really poor self-esteem. Well, it can't be that bad. I mean, they're getting laid. Unless they paid for it. I don't know. I need more information. When the person on bottom begins to orgasm, they focus on opening up ha -ha! to their partner and allowing. It's a state of complete surrender. And you have to wave a little white flag to show it. That way, your partner knows they did good. And you can also use the flag to wipe up whatever happens next. Genius! At the same time, when the person on bottom begins to orgasm, the person on top leans really close to their ear and whispers, Hey, baby, what was your name again? You're such a wonderful person. Well, that's a fucking dodgy thing to say to someone just as they're about to come. And somehow the whispering makes it seem more sinister. Most people would prefer to be called a dirty slut at that point. Here's a tiny tip for you also. Ha ha! Your partner doesn't necessarily need to know that you're planning on doing this reprogramming technique in the middle of orgasm. Reprogramming? What the fuck? Sometimes it can be really impactful, especially for the nervous system, if there's no anticipation. It doesn't have any way to guard against it. So you're brainwashing through sex? I didn't even know that was a thing! So you don't necessarily have to let your partner know that you're about to do this when you go and do this. Mind rape! That's what that is! Mind rape! Another variation of this exercise, this is my suggestion number two, is that you can record either in your voice or in somebody else's voice. What, like their father's voice saying how disappointed he is? Or their mum just tutting in disapproval? Messages that contradict one of your painful realities, like the world is against me, for example. You could record one message or several of either yourself saying something that contradicts that, See, now you're making me wonder if people wank over my answer phone messages. Stop messing with my mind, Teal. Or at least wait until you fuck me first. Like everything is here for your benefit. The whole universe wants you to succeed. None of which are true. So you have a recorded reminder that your partner is a fucking liar. And you could record that and then use earbuds or some sort of a device that plays it back to you while you're in the moment of orgasm as a result of masturbation. I don't think anyone thinks that when they're on the brink, like, ooh, where's my headphones? Isn't it more like, I hope I shut my bedroom door? Essentially, the entire goal here is to give yourself a message or an experience that opposes your most deeply ingrained perceptions and beliefs during an orgasm. So something like, maybe Frasier isn't the most sophisticated sitcom ever. Now that you know this technique, Feel free to experiment with it in any way you can. Come up with different ways to do this. Like whispering extra quietly in their ear while fucking them. That way, you don't wake them up. To work with this concept of using orgasm as an open doorway to get things to soak into your being to contradict your painful perceptions. I'm just saying though, thinking of, say, Trump's presidency when you're about to come is a sure way to not come. Or with a libtard, it could be the key to the fabled angry orgasm. And I would love if you come up with anything unique and interesting, a way to use this technique. If you could post it in the comment below this video. Look, I beg you, don't do that with this video. I mean, I can't control what you do, but guys, there's a limit. If you're feeling brave, so that we can all benefit from this technique, which has obviously worked for you. I don't think many people will benefit from that. I mean, some people might bookmark it in the old spank bank, but there are better websites for that, in my opinion. You deserve a life that is not run and operated by your painful beliefs.
but is instead ran and operated by the person giving you a fucking good seeing to. Yeah, there's no way that'll get abused. Most especially because those beliefs are often not even true. Fuck off, Teal. You don't know me. What if I am genuinely ugly? What then? That wouldn't be a belief. That would be a fucking fact. But uggos need love too. They just have to pay. Thank you to Kind Heathen for this latest challenge. It was harder than you think and in more ways than one. And be sure to check out his channel. He's a funny fucker and the link is in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, there's no need to feel down when you can fuck your problems away.